Good evening, good evening. Hey, hello, good evening. hello, good evening. How are you? Very good. How was your day? Hello. Hello, hello. I, I did I listen to a kid? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> yes. Ah, it's a Salvador kid. <laughs> I know, I know. Okay. Yes, there it is. Hello. How are you? <laughs> I forgot your name. What is his name? Joel. Joel. Yes. Very good. All right. It's a new classmate, everyone. <laughs> okay. Welcome to the class, guys. How are you? How was your day? It was very heavy in my in my situation. I imagine. And how is your brother? Is he better now? Uh yes, he is better now. Great. I'm happy yes, to hear thank that. you, teacher. Excellent. Teacher, um uh, I have a problem with section two. Okay. In the task two point thirteen. And could you help me, please? And sure. I had bad sentences two and three. Always. Okay. Is in which exercise you said? Uh, in task two point thirteen and section two. Okay. Thirteen or fourteen? Ah, uh, fourteen. Yes. yes, because it's the, 13, the 13 is the video. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, 14. yes. Actually, this is one of the exercises that we were discussing with uh, some of your classmates. So um, let's see. I'm going to share it, everyone. Is this the one? Yes. All right, uh, well, let's scroll down. Uh, the part of the sentences. This one? Yes, yes. Okay, actually. Two and three. Yes, actually, that is one of the sentences that some of your classmates had issues with. Remember that in this case, guys, unfortunately, the sentences have been uh, set. So there is a specific answer that you had to set or type. In the case of the sentence number two, it says, we went out last night. So she told me, he told me they had gone out the night before. So instead of saying last night, they are changing it for the night before, right? And you can add a period at the end of that sentence. In the sentence number three, it says, um, I didn't go to the party, so she told me um, she hadn't gone to the party, and again, a point at the end. So this is one of the answers that you can write. Uh, in the number four and five, too? Mm, well, in my case, uh only had bad uh two and three and always mm -hmm. but so if you want you can copy exactly as the ones that i'm sharing right now and it's, it's exactly teacher and is it still an issue yes uh, and and yesterday and oh today and tomorrow always always <laughs> It's always okay. Um, the platform. Let me see if the platform suggests a different answer. Right now, in the group, uh, well, here in the chat, if you want, I'm going to send some options that the platform is giving me. Try with the options that I'm going to send you, and maybe that works. Okay, let me send it in the chat. Uh, this is for the number two. Um, try with that option. Okay. Mm -hmm.
Uh, I think, well, I think that that is not the one. Well, try with that one. Try, I'm going to send you different options. You can try with all of those and, and you decide which answer works for you. All of the options are for the number two, okay? And you said that the number three too, right? I'm sending for the number three too. So everyone, this is for an exercise in the platform, okay? If you want, Elisa, copy and paste it exactly as I'm sending it. If you have some issues, everyone, you can tell me. Um, let's see, let's see. Okay, I can see someone sent me a message, Kevin, right? Yes. What is the number of the exercise? Um, it's a part of the midterm. I cannot understand why the answer is not good. <laughs> it's um the part two of the midterm. Okay, let me check. Um, let me know, um, Eulise, if it works. Okay. So. Uh, let me see your answers, Kevin. My neighbor, David. Ah, in this case, uh, if you paid attention here, uh, let me see, let me see. Instead of using my neighbor, uh, you can say only he asked me, okay? Uh, let me send it. This is for the number four, and this is for the number five. I mean, it is not necessary to say my neighbor David said, ta, 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 ta. you can try only with he asked me. I know that the instructions are very confusing in that part. So everybody, um, let me show you, okay? In the part, uh, we are talking about the midterm for the one who hasn't taken the midterm, okay? We are in the uh, part two. If you scroll down in the end, you will see some sentences. Well, actually they are questions. I know that the instructions looks weird because it says, ah, my neighbor David asked me. So we understand that that's the way that we have to report it. But if you see in the answer, you just have to say he. He asked me and ta -da 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 -da. And in both. He asked me if and you continue with the answer, okay? Try with that one, and let me see if you get the answers correct. Yes, <clears throat> I get the answers correct. Excellent. You're changing the, all the, the the paragraph of, that says my neighbor, David, ask me, exactly. just for he ask. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's so. And uh, how about you, Elisa? Did it work for you? Um, uh, give me a moment, teacher. Okay, sure. Try, no problem. Is there sure. anything? Uh huh. Uh, and the task 2.14, number two. Mm -hmm. I try the way. Uh, oh, actually, no, that is no. that is the one that I think that that's the one that Eulise is doing right now. Is the 2.14? Yes. So Carlos, which sentence it is incorrect in your case? Uh, Carlos, I cannot hear you. Uh, sorry. Uh, the answer is she told me they have gone out the night before. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, it's not good. Uh, I try the way. Oh, I already yeah, sent, yeah. if you check the chat, I already sent the answer. So you can try with the answers that I sent to, to Eulise. Okay. Mm -hmm. Try, try, please. And let me know. I'm not sure why, guys. Um, 
because if you see, let me share the exercise again. Give me a second. It's the same platform <laughs> that we had, and I'm sharing the same answers that I put here. It's exactly the same answer that I'm sending. So I don't understand why for some people it says that it's not the correct answer because I'm sending it exactly the way that I had. And um, in my case, the platform appears that it's, it is the correct answer. But try, please, try it and let me know if you have the correct answer, okay? So I know guys that uh, specifically when we have exercises, when we type, I know that the exercises can be very confusing and complicated. So always when you have issues with it, please let me know so we can resolve the exercises together here in the class, okay? Teacher, uh -huh. can you send uh, another uh, in uh, chat because I, don't see the answer and I have the same problem with number three. If you want guys, let me send it on WhatsApp's group. So on WhatsApp's group, the answers will be there all the time, okay? So for okay. everyone who need it. Again, um, this is for the exercise 2.14, okay? In the number one, uh, and try with this number two. Oops, number two for the number three. I'm sending it in the on WhatsApp group, everybody. So please, you can try it. And if you still have the incorrect answer, I mean, we need to find out what's going on because. I'm just copying the same answers that I already wrote and in my platform here's it. That's the correct. Okay, so I already sent it. So please everybody try it and let me know if it works or not. My suggestion is that if you can just copy and paste it in order to avoid any kind of mistake, I mean, do it, all right? Because sometimes when we are typing, we can make some mistakes and that can affect. Is there any other exercise you have issues with? Yes, no? Okay. Um, I uh -huh. Sorry. <laughs> Go ahead, I, I don't know if you have already um, said this, but I was trying to uh begin the um the first exercise on the second unit. I know I'm I'm, I'm a little um um I don't know I don't know what to say but <laughs> okay don't worry what is the number tell me the number of the yes okay it's the first one of the of the unit two but I can't remember the name. Um, two point two, I guess. Let me show you and tell me if this is okay. the one. Yes, and yes, I have problem with the third one and the um the five, the fifth. In the first part or in the in second the first part. part. Okay, well, in this case, guys, in the first part, they are um imperatives so well give me let's see oops oops sorry i stopped sharing and i try and i try everything and i i can't <laughs> it's okay no worries uh you said in the number three and three? the number yeah five five okay Ah, okay, look at this one. I guess, I, I'm not sure, but I remember that I sent uh, the answers to someone, if I'm not wrong. Give me a second. Mm -hmm. Okay, one, two, three. Ah, got it. 
I think that in one of these sentences, I remember that I shared with someone. And actually, I think that there is like a little mistake in one of these ones. Um, but can you see what I'm sharing right now? No. Oh, okay. Give me a second. Uh, how about now? Yes. Ah, okay, perfect. Okay. You said the number three. Mm -hmm. Number three. Okay. Let me copy it. So in this case, in the number three, it says, the sign says, don't drink and drive. So you have to use, first of all, the verb that appears here. So the sign mm -hmm. requests, um, it says requests because mm -hmm. it's in third person. Remember what we say, un letrero siempre está ahí. That's why, I mean, it doesn't uh -huh. change the verb. And then not to drink and drive. So if you want, you can try to copy exactly as it is here. Okay. Mm -hmm. The sign request uh, not to drink and drive. Um, if you want, I can send it in the chat, but I don't want yes. you to get confused. Okay, so I'm going to separate it with dots. So this is like the number three, okay? And you said the other one was the number five. Five. Okay, uh, yes, I think that in this one, it is a mistake, I'm not sure. Let me see. Okay, she he told her go and, uh, yes, I remember that this one, we talked about it. Uh, on the platform, doesn't include the preposition to. Do you know that if we want guys mm -hmm. to um to report imperative, we use the preposition to. However, in the platform, there is a mistake and they omit it, right? The preposition mm -hmm. to. So in this case, <laughs> it is incorrect, right? I'm so sorry for that, guys. But try with that one. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm sorry. I reported these kind of errors. Unfortunately, guys, I cannot uh, fix it, okay? I'm not able to have that access to the platform and correct the exercises. But that's why I'm helping you here and trying to give you a, what the answer is, okay? Thank so, you, thank you very you're much. You're very welcome, no worries. Please, every time that you have this kind of inconvenience, Tell me, because I know that most of the time is the platform is not your fault. Okay, so always tell me, no worries. And you sure? uh, yes. Um, the three, now it's okay. Ah, did it it's work? It's correct, it's correct. Yes, only is, uh, the two, um, no. The number two is not? Yes, yeah. <laughs> Oh, and I don't, wow. I don't know why. <laughs> I think that the platform has something against you. Yeah, I don't I understand. Don't and tomorrow I will try him again. Okay, let's see. Try with this one. It's the last option that I don't even know how many options I sent. Did anyone else had this issue, guys, with the number two in the exercise uh, 2.14? Yes, no, because I sent three options and neither of them worked yes, for you're right. you. Uh, mm, with, one, with the options that you gave, gave us, um, I can uh, have 100% on the, on the form. So one, one of, of them is good. So <laughs> I just copy and paste and it works. Yeah, try again with this one. I think that I'm just sending it the same. I, what happens is that for one reason that I cannot understand, in the case of Ulise, the number two, the platform says that it's always incorrect. It doesn't matter the answer that he writes. I, I'm not sure why. But if you want, Ulise, I mean, if it is not possible, leave it as it is, and I'm going to add the, the points uh, manually, okay? Because, yeah, I don't understand why. I think that the yeah. platform has something against you. It's, it's personal, I guess. 
I'm sorry. Okay, teacher. Okay, yeah. no worries. All right, very good. So everyone, please, every time that you have answer, uh, questions about it or difficulties with some of the answers, please just let me know. We can resolve it here in the chat or here in the class. And uh, um, when you send me those kind of questions, I try to send it uh, or help you uh, personally in a private message. But when I see that everybody has like the same issue, I prefer to resolve it here in the class, okay? So that is what we can do in order to help each other. Now, uh, before starting with the class for today, um, I'm going to check attendance. So everybody, when you listen to your names, please say present. Um, Amanda Zamora Miranda. Present teacher. Thank you. Ana Lorena Lovata. Present teacher. Thank you. Um, Boris Alexander Cortez. Present teacher. Excellent. Carlos Alberto Dominguez. Present teacher. Thank you. Carlos Ernesto Hernandez. Present teacher. Very good. Carlos Mauricio Menjivar. Present. Thank you. Edwin Antonio Quinteros. Present teacher. Thank you. Elias Nestalí Martínez. Okay. Um, Eulice Torres Torres. Present. Thank you. Irma Evelyn Rodriguez. Okay. Jose Salvador I'm Bernal. Still working. I'm sorry? I, I think she's still working. Ah, okay. <laughs> Thanks for informing. Okay. Okay, Jose Salvador Bernal. Present, teacher. Thank you. Okay. Josman Atilio Serrano. Present teacher. Excellent. Kevin Alexander Perez. Present. Thank you. Kevin Alfredo Lucero. Present. Thank you. Maria Jose Siguenza. Okay. Nelson Alberto Peraza. Present. Thank you. Oscar Alexis Lara. Present teacher. Thank you. Osman Enrique Hernandez. Present teacher. Very good. Pamela Carolina Molina. Present teacher. Thank you. Rafael Alexander Serna. Present. Okay. Ricardo Ernesto Perez. Present. Okay, very good. Uh, Cifrido Ernesto Gomez. Present teacher. Excellent. Wilber Alberto Perez. And Andrea Jamilet Mendoza. Present. Very good, excellent. All right, so everybody, let's start. Let me share uh, the presentation with you. As always, we have a lot of practice. We have a lot of things to do. And let's see. Okay, can everybody see the presentation? Yes, I can. Yes? Excellent. Yes. Okay, so today is August 30th. And today, basically, guys, we are starting the week number four, okay? This is the week number four. Remember that we are starting weeks every Wednesday. And today we are starting the unit number three, okay? Next week, that means next Wednesday, we are going to start the last week. That means the week number five, and we are going to be studying the last unit. So guys, two more weeks and the level is over, okay? So let's continue, okay? Let's make an effort. Let's continue connecting. So just two more weeks, 10 days, okay? And you will be in the next level, all right? So... Yeah. Excuse me, what is the next level? Is intermediate six or it okay. isn't it is intermediate six and that's the last one, guys. Okay. That's the last one and the intermediate level. Okay. So be careful, take advantage of the intermediate five and six because later you are advanced. You ready yeah. to be advanced? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Teacher, uh, when <laughs> who is ready? When uh, inglés corporativo um, uh, bring pedir 
ask? Ask for the form for documents for the next level uh, to our companies. Um, what do you mean? When are they going to ask the documentation? That's what you mean? Yes. Ah, well, actually, I'm not pretty sure. I think that they do it like the last week of this level. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. okay. I think that around that time, they start to ask the documentation in order that when we already finished, they already have the information in order to start the next level. Okay. Okay. Thank you. So, again, Teacher. everyone, uh huh. Are you ready, right? Uh, this week and the next week uh -huh. are the last. The last week. Okay, the next week we are starting the last one. Remember, guys, that we started Wednesday. Okay, so next Wednesday we are going to start the last week. Okay, so el próximo miércoles iniciamos la última semana. No es la última semana. I mean, la próxima semana no es la última. No, iniciamos la última. Es decir, que nos quedan todavía two weeks so from now let's start counting 10 days and that is what is missing okay so i will be giving you more details no worries when we start the last week i will tell you and then i will tell you when the last day is going to be okay from now just count 10 days and 10 days is what we'll have for the next mm -hmm. level okay Sure. Yes. Okay. In the platform, the it finished the night, night, September night. But no. I'm sorry. Uh, 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 on the platform. Uh -huh. In the platform, uh, finish the, fin, uh, finish the the course is a uh, 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 September night. Oh yes, but it was plain like that because. It's supposed that you had to start on Monday, but remember that we didn't start it on, I mean, we didn't start on Monday. We started on Wednesday. That's the reason why it's like that difference. Basically, guys, do if everything goes well, the last day will be around uh, September 12th, okay? That is going to be like our last day. Okay. Mm-hmm. And with the platform, I think that they are going to extend. I mean, I know that in the platform says September 9th, because again, it was supposed that to finish that day because we were starting, a, we were going to start on Monday, but we didn't do that. We started on Wednesday. That's why, but don't worry, okay? So um, any questions so far about our calendar? No? Okay, the topic for today, guys, is outline the basics of digital marketing. Okay, so we are going to start talking about some marketing vocabulary. And this is our class objective. I need a volunteer, please, for reading the class objective. Okay. Yes, go ahead. Class objective. At the end of the class, participants will learn vocabulary related to the basics of digital marketing and will be will develop their own ideas on how to deal with them. Thank you. So we are going to learn vocabulary, guys, about marketing. And of course, as always, we are going to have speaking activities where you can apply that vocabulary. So let's start. Um, to start with, I have here some questions. For example, everybody, what comes to your mind or what is the first thing that comes to your mind when you listen to the word marketing? What is the first thing that comes to your mind? The four P's, teacher, product, <laughs> price, place, and promotion. Ah, you are applying the knowledge. Very good. What else? I think is in is the way somebody shows uh, shows the product. Mm -hmm. Okay, sounds good. Maybe publicity about the product. Very good. 
um, sales and strategies. Sounds good. Anything else? Advertisement of the products. Very good. So you got a very good idea about marketing. So look, because I want to everybody participate, we are going to uh, ask and answer these questions, discuss with your classmates in the breakup rooms. So I'm going to send it on WhatsApp's group and we are going to discuss. Please, everybody, as I always said, enter to the breakup rooms. Remember that this is the moment that I want you to feel free to talk, okay? During the breakup rooms, if you see, um, I'm not asking you to have a perfect grammar. No, because the idea is to have the freedom to talk. Maybe during the day, you don't practice English. Maybe during the day, you don't speak English. So here, this is the moment for you to practice, to speak, to feel free to talk, okay? So enter to the breakup rooms, please, everybody, and practice. If one of your classmates is not participating, as I always said, please try to motivate them and say, hey, try, you can do it, okay? Ready, everybody? Yes? Yes. All right, yes. are you ready to send the questions on WhatsApp groups? Let's go, everybody, and practice. Remember, zero Spanish. Let's go. Hey, Osman. Hi, hi. Hi, guys. Hey, Pamela. Pamela's bang. Hi, Jose. Llamador. Hey, Carlos. Hey. Oh. Okay. Okay. Hi. The first one. Question. What comes to your mind when you hear the word marketing? Marketing. I I I I, I I think it is is the way somebody or sellers uh, chose shows uh, they product to to sell a strategy to uh, I don't know that's all okay well well class about what do you think i i believe that um, marketing is the way for sell product yes yes okay uh, um i think that um well when i hear marketing i think of the way that you like promote a product or you you let her know the product uh, to the to the customers or, or your for the consumers and you show the functionally all the characteristics of the product or the service so i think about that when when I hear marketing. Yes, yes, yes. I agree with you, Pamela. Uh, it's like a, some group of people, they took a meeting, a meeting and tried to uh, let it know how uh, the product can be out, out with, the, with the customer and let them know what is the song advantage from these products and others. Song strategies. Um, the second one. What marketing marketing tactics do you think are very successful? 
I think uh, offers offers uh, is successful for me. I think uh, that right now uh, the best way to do marketing it's um, through so social media and like. Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. Big and had a great name like for your compare or something like that. You know the the letreros. The I don't know how to oh, say. Oh, like it. the image, the, the the identify the brand identify. Mm, no. Maybe the teacher knows who, what, what I'm about saying. the font? A specific what? fonts on a, of a, on a brand. For example, if you think in in um, uh, how it's like, if you think in uh, this uh, this application to deliver the food. No, 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 no. no that's that, that's too far. What I'm was thinking, but. Uh, let's think in the things that are in the bus, bus station, you know, when you go to the, the bus mopis. station. The mopis, the... An advertisement. Advertisement in the street or... Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, something like that, but I don't know. It has to be some... <sighs> Maybe the teacher, could you help us? <laughs> it has a specific name. Teacher. Uh -huh. But what is the idea? Because I entered to the breakup rooms and I didn't listen to the word that you're trying to say. Uh, um, well, I was trying to say the things that are in the bus station, like the that the the ads, you know. <laughs> so Lorena and Andrea said like advertising. And I agree, but the... yeah, it's an ad. ad. ad I, I mean, know. I will say Add, but because yeah. I'm not sure what are you talking about. Um, because what? remember, add is is that publicity that we can paste, or um, you can say, I'm not sure if you are talking about the billboards. Do you know what a billboard is? Mm -hmm. But the billboards are like um bigger. They are basically in the streets when you are driving. Yes. Yes. You yes. can see, you can see. Um, I, I, let me try to share the screen so I will <laughs> show you. This is billboard, you know? Yeah. yeah These yeah. are bigger. So I'm not sure if that's what you are talking about. That was the first thing I was trying to say, but I don't really I don't really know that 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 specific word. Okay. Mm, okay. But uh, we were discussing about the fear. No, the second question. I lost it. That what marketing tactics do you think are very successful? And I was saying that that's a very successful uh, marketing tactic because, and when we were driving, we could saw those things in the, in our way to when whatever they were going. So, the the billboards are very very good tactic for marketing. Mm -hmm. Anyone? Definitely, they are. Mm -hmm. Anyone want to say something else? <laughs> yeah, I I think that uh, actually uh, to know the necessity of consumer employing the social media and maybe next develop the product uh, according the this necessary. Is a good a tactic for maybe buy a new product. Yeah, and uh, when it comes to my mind, uh, when I hear the word marketing, I think like uh, a strategy that a group of persons or one person, uh, uh make, um, in order to um to uh may in order to um do a product um it sell 
something like that. I don't know. Okay, Andrea, and what about the second one? The second question? And the second, uh, yes. okay, um, I think digital marketing is like a very successful tactic um, using the social media to, um, to sell something or to reach more um, public. Or or to expand the market. Okay. So let's go oh. to the three, the third. Okay. The third one is how was the internet changed? Traumatized. <laughs> Why traumatized? <laughs> you get overwhelmed with that with that information. Uh, something like that is. Or just is boring. <laughs> no, because she's speaking in a uh, hard Spanish, <laughs> and it's difficult to follow the but language at the same time. It's it's complicated. Yes. Marketing things, I think. Well, in my case, psychology and sales is what I think when you say the word marketing. And for oh. you, Kevin. Uh, in my opinion, I I said uh, that. I think in for peace, uh, products, place, and promotion and price uh, is a group that uh, contain this topic. And I think the for peace when some talk about the marketing. Thank you, Zipriva. Mm. What is it? Is it uh, I lost a little bit. I think I already answered the first question. So, sorry, in that case, I didn't hear you. Um, okay, the second one. What marketing, what marketing tactics, tactics do you think, you think are very successful? We maybe uh, when. The internet is a low cost the, the marketing for the 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 radio and on TV. The cost is is a low. It's lower, yes. Lower, yeah. Yes. The next number, one. <laughs> number four. For me, okay, for me, uh, Mm, I related much during the pandemia, pandemic, uh, because uh, uh, there are there are more there are many entrepreneurs. The the, the people the uh, use the internet or the Facebook, Instagram. For the business, for you, I think. Yeah. Okay. Next. Um, the next question is: Which companies have a good marketing uh, strategies? Um, I think um, if we consider the, a company, the government, I think the government has one of the best marketing strategies on El Salvador because they <laughs> sell sell us not the um politic um flag they sell us the <laughs> name of the president and if you check all the social network they're never they're never never said uh the government do that. They always say uh, Najib Bukele did that. So they <laughs> just sell us the men, not the the flag, the Nuevas Ideas flag. Yeah. 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 Okay. 
it's functional because the yeah. other other countries yeah. talking about yeah. the president. Yes, yeah. many people <laughs> know about him. Yeah. yeah. And I think no one um, knows a Nuevas Ideas. <laughs> the name of the president is more um is more known that the the flag. <laughs> Yeah, uh, I I believe the company is very good US marketing strategies. I think it's Coca Cola. Yes, that's a good one uh, because the people say the Coca Cola Spain. Yeah. I don't know. But uh, billions a lot of dollars. money, billions, billions for years, but advertising. Yes, I see that they always uh, advertise, make uh, advertise with uh, like in Latin America, like uh, you see a family sharing a Coca Cola, so they try to um, reach us with that. Pastas. Uh, like it's a pronoun uh, name, so I don't remember the it's a it's a it's a uh, okay. I mean, it, it, it's not necessary you translate the name. You may it's the same. It. Yeah. Okay. Uh, super Superpuestos has a a good marketing because they uh. They has, they, they have a good promotion in online or different uh, social media and always has a good promotion and about the product. And I think is uh they have a good promotion and <laughs> that's it <laughs> i don't have my a more idea about that <laughs> and what about with the uh, impresa repuestos if you match them oh the strategy okay uh the strategy has a uh, uh Super propuesto is uh, they they has they have a uh, delivery and and they don't uh I don't know, how do you say cover yeah. charge charge they don't charge for delivery and that is a good promo a good strategy uh, okay so impresa repuestos uh, charge a, a fee did you repeat that uh, that uh, impresa repuestos charge a fee for a for the third for that service for the, the delivery, you pay the extra money. Uh, no, no. It's exactly when I saw the price when I when I bought the product, and uh, they send me the product to until a house, and I pay the the same when I I receive the product. That's ah, why okay. uh, that's why I, they have a good promotion or a good strategy. Okay. That's, good. that's it. Good. So I don't know if we can pass uh the other question.
interaction with the with the people in the social media make him like like some dynamics to the people so i think that the strategy has a had changed this last year so i think it's it's a great way to to get to new people and more people yes okay in in a, in a company uh, where i work uh, i think mm, has changed a uh, lot uh, for example uh, my company uh, has improved mm, the shipping the shipping uh, for example uh, we has improved uh, the shipping on time. Also, the we 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 have we have improved the quality too, because the the customer is um, uh, exigent exigente. I don't know how do you say exigent. It's difficult. Your, your customer is difficult. The customer is is diff is more difficult. Difficult. Exigent. Ex exigent. Exigent. Uh, in my company, uh, have to have to do have to adapt uh, these uh, the parameters. This uh, this level quality about uh, about the customer wants. That's all. Classmate, are you there? Yes, I'm here, but I I have a lot of problem with my internet connection. Uh, in, in some moments, I can hear you and everything is stuck, so I'm really sorry if you that uh, we uh, use um a specific banner in our social media for a uh, publicity about the company. Um, uh, I believe that the last year I changed in this uh, direction that make more the this social media. Well, this was uh, a difference after the, the banner that they showed. Actually, uh, they uh, be in an implementation, uh, but uh, they um, hope that the clients contacting about ours or our uh, perfiles. Uh, no. How do you the say? Profiles. The profiles or the files. Uh, the profiles, yes. Clients. Yes. Cool. Well, I'm working on uh, ONG, so there is a lot of publicity, but the publicity is not uh, just uh, directed to sales. So we have clients, but our kind of clients, it's about help for each other's um, we have some subventions. There is like the uh, donations, the, the donator or the or donors, yeah. sorry. The donors uh, usually are of another organization that there is uh, some kind of philanthropic or there is uh, associations uh, related to help the people that needs the help about food, about uh, uh, violence, about uh, some psychological crisis and crisis. And 
we have also some uh, some uh, local funds, but there is about uh, the subventions, the the principal uh, mm -hmm. directions. So uh, we have advertisement, but it's directed by the feelings, right? I don't know if yes. it's clear. Yeah. yeah. It's yeah. about if you. All right, time's up. Let's return. Time's up. Let's go back to the main room. All right, we are going to wait for the rest of your classmates. They are still in the breakup rooms. Time's up, time's up, everyone. All right, all right. Did your classmates answer all of the questions, everyone? Yes, could you answer all of the answer, all, all of the questions? Yes. Yes, great. Did your classmate use full Spanish or full English? Full, full English. Ah, okay. Let's see. He said, he, he said full, is, full English. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he was like, oops. <laughs> All right, so how did you feel the questions? Easy to answer? Yes? Not too easy. I don't know anything about marketing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but that's good. That means that today you are going to learn something new. Now let's start. Um, I'm listening to Alexis, Oscar Alexis. Um, tell me, Alexis, what comes to your mind when you hear the word marketing? Maybe when I hear the word my marketing, I think on uh, selling products and I think in psychology because marketing, uh, I think is so related with, with the mind of people. So psychology, it comes <laughs> to my mind. Nice. That's a very deep answer. I like that. Interesting. Now, Alexis, pick someone, please. Uh, Kevin. What's my partner? Which man? Alfredo? Alfredo. Or Al Alfredo. Okay. Kevin Alfredo. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin, what marketing tactics do you think um, are very successful? Uh, in my opinion, teacher, the good a good strategy is about the price. When you put a cheap price uh, on your product, all people want wants uh, your product and we when we when they saw when they see your product uh, he wanted he wanted and the sell maybe grow because for the demand the demand is growing when the, your product is cheaper ah nice i like that very good strategy can you pick one of your classmates, Alfredo, please? Um, Sigfrido was my <laughs> 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 Okay, Sigfrido, um, how has the internet changed marketing? You can reach more people around the world and also the cost of digital marketing is cheaper. Very good. Uh, that's a good point. Um, thank you, Sofrido. Can you pick someone, please? Mm, Ricardo. Ricardo. Hello, Ricardo. I think it's listener. Um, yeah, pick someone else, the, please. Um, Amanda. Amanda. Amanda, yeah. tell me, which companies have a good marketing strategy. Think about any kind of company. Okay. Uh, I say obviously Coca-Cola <laughs> <laughs> because there is a huge mark and they know about, uh, well, uh, like, like Lorena said, they are like kind of playing with our feelings. <laughs> 
and they always know about uh, what is the next step, what is the trending, and what it, they are they are going uh, usually with the seasons, and this is uh, like kind of a, a fun a fun uh, a fun way to get the market. Mm -hmm. uh, also with the movements like uh, the sports, uh, for example, the, the world championship about championship about the soccer. That's true. Uh, yes, yes, but also, also another good strategy uh, about companies. It's about the food or um, the. These companies like have some activities with the viral content, with the influencers, because already it's like the 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 bump in the internet. Sounds good. Sounds good. And look, this is related what Alexis mentioned, right? They play with our emotions. They think about how people think, how people will react. That's good. Amanda, that's good. Uh -huh. uh, no, it's respect the talking about the Amanda. Uh -huh. Yeah, I think uh, the, the Coca Cola is very, very nice, the marketing, because the Coca Cola, I think, is that much for the health. It's for example, totally bad. <laughs> uh, for nature, uh, a lot of sweets to provoke through up and the people yeah but introduce a chemic but mm -hmm. avoid the uh, avoid to, to avoid uh, through up and the people that's true that's true and imagine guys coca-cola is totally unhealthy every yes. doctor says don't drink coca-cola that is the first thing that they always say but let me ask you do you drink coca-cola <laughs> every day like water never in my life <laughs> okay carlos really you never drink coca-cola no it's just a joke <laughs> Come it's, on. It's, it's, it's impossible <laughs> uh, you are uh, in the hot day you, you think in the coca-cola first yeah. uh, water <laughs> and that is what amanda mentioned they play with the seasons right uh, when it is uh, the hot season summer for example they immediately have a lot of publicity about the summer and when you see the tv commercial it's like yes i want it and you go and buy it so i think that the marketing department from coca-cola they they earn a lot of money right they have a very good marketing department all right uh, amanda pick someone please okay. I, I, I have I want to give my opinion. Oh, sure. Go ahead, please. Um, uh, for, uh, for example, uh, when uh, we in, in our country, there are uh, a lot of companies ha that, that ha uh, have good uh, marketing strategies. Mm -hmm. For example, uh, the companies about fast food, uh, Pizza Hut, Burger King, Campero, uh, this company show show us the uh, the product in the exact moment. <laughs> For example, uh, if you if you are in your home or you or, or you job uh, around uh, 11, 11 a.m., if you are watching uh, I don't know a commercial advertise advertisement. Uh -huh. uh, you you can you can see you can watch uh publicity publicity uh -huh. the burger the pizza uh, in this moment it is <laughs> eleven a.m. Yeah? Yeah. In, in your mind uh, are working ah uh, in the lunch uh, I want it's to uh, I want to buy pizza yeah hey you know what i haven't i haven't realized about it but that's a good uh, that's a good strategy right so show us show us the product in, in the exact moment imagine if you watch it 
you will say, I don't want to cook today. Yes. Right? And yes. you can buy the food. That's a good strategy. I like it. Very yes. good point. Okay. Thank you. And Thank even you. they send us a messages, text messages, but directly with the That's offer. True. That is true. And if you open your social networks, it's the same, right? When it is time to eat, a lot of pop-up messages about different uh, fast food restaurants. That's interesting. All right, now, volunteer number five. What are some common examples, guys, of digital advertising? Some of you already mentioned some, but what do you think? Uh huh. Any examples, guys, of digital advertising? Maybe the advertising that hang out in a, a contain of influencer. Ah, uh, very good. Yes, that's a good an idea. Uh huh. What else? When we are talking about digital marketing, guys, what comes to your mind? Because we have marketing, but now we have digital marketing. Since internet appears, now we have digital marketing. So what is that? What comes to your mind? Uh -huh. Do you think that Facebook or social networks are some examples of digital marketing? Yes. yes, all of them. Yes. You are on Facebook looking for, uh, maybe I was looking for Kevin Alexis in internet, in Facebook. And I came mm -hmm. home. But uh, when I get in, in the, in the in, her, in his profile, uh, not only see every picture or anything else that he, he put there, mm -hmm. so you can see some commercials there. Absolutely. Uh, if you are in TikTok, you are watching something and suddenly appears on commercial. <laughs> exactly. That's true. So now, guys, the publicity is not only on TV or on the radio. Now we have digital. that are basically everywhere. Now, um, I want you guys to think about your own company. Okay? The company that you work for. Has your company's marketing strategy changed over the last few years? Or does your company keep the same marketing strategies? What do you think? Anyone? Uh -huh. Teacher, in, in, in my company, a uh, strategy uh, was improved the level of quality ah yes. that's good that's important that is going to catch your clients because the customer uh, wants uh, a good product uh, every time every, every time yes every time uh, good, product, good product yes absolutely imagine if you go to the restaurant and the food is not good, mm, maybe you are not going to go back. Or, so or uh, another strategy is uh, improve the link time to uh, to shipping the product. Ah, okay. Because the customer wants uh, uh, every day, uh, every time uh, uh, it's his product uh, on time. Always on time, yes. Yes. And very no, no, no delay, no delay on <laughs> they time. Don't, yeah, they don't want to wait. That's another one, pretty good. How about your companies, guys? Mm -hmm. Any other strategy that your company has changed? <laughs> <laughs> I say to my my companies, to my my co classmates, my classmates. Sorry. Uh, that my company is a non-profit uh, organization, so they always are uh, dealing with the feelings and about the the help to the people in crisis or with needles about the 
the financial issues or about the violence. And already we have an account uh, with some subventions and donors uh, mm -hmm. like their it's a uh, helping to the LGTB community. And this is a very trending topic right now. So for example, we change our land yards and our uh, shirts to some rainbow colors and related about the topic and related about the proud of help uh, to this community, for example. Sounds good. And again, this is in order to catch people's attention, touch, and play with their feelings too. Interesting. Very interesting answers, everyone. Thank you for giving your opinion. Now, let's see some grammar related to this topic. Let's see some vocabulary, okay? Remember, we are talking about digital marketing. Now, um, we're going to have a reading part. We have Elena and Harvey. They are talking about opinions to improve their digital marketing strategy. Okay. I need to volunteers for reading. I would like to try, teacher. Thank you, Wilbur. You will be Harvey. Who else? Me, teacher. Thank you, Anna. You will be Elena. Pretty good. This conversation, everyone, is in your manuals in the page 25. Okay. Pay attention because after this reading, we are going to answer some questions. Go ahead, let's start. We are trying to improve our marketing strategy by analyzing our customers' data. And then we are planning to optimize the content of our webpage according to their preferences. Well, that sounds good. I think we should hire a web designer to help us. Optimize uh, the content in the web page. The site needs the site needs a makeover. Yes, I already contacted some people who might be able to help. Okay, we only need to discuss how to improve our direct marketing strategies. Thank you. Very good. Now, everybody, pay attention here. How does Harvey plan to improve their marketing strategy according to the conversation? Mm -hmm. Analyzing the data. Ah, analyzing the, the customer's, customer's data. data. Yes. Do you think that that works? Yes, no? Yeah, because if, 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 if he makes uh, some mention about numbers. Mm -hmm. That's true. Remember, guys, that, and this is happening. If you just think about it, if you ask something um, on Facebook, for example, um, imagine that you go to the marketplace and you write fast food or I don't know, something related, immediately is going to appear a lot of pop-up message about this object that you are looking for. So, and that is because they keep and analyze your customer's data, okay? Now, next one. What do you think in the second question? What does Elena suggest to improve the looks of the web page? What do you think? Hire a designer. A web designer. A web designer. Yes. What is the meaning of makeover, everyone? Because she said the site needs a makeover. What is that? Maybe mm. actualization. Uh, yes, an update. Mm -hmm. a, a visual update. Exactly. Basically, to change the way that the website looks right now. So a totally innovation. And then what are some disadvantages, guys, of uh, digital marketing? What do you think? I know that digital marketing has a lot of advantages, but how about the disadvantages? Can you think about one? No? 
I'm going to give you an example. If you are trying to play a video on YouTube, <laughs> what is going to happen? Uh, I will get mad. <laughs> it will stop. It <laughs> will appear, uh, Anna. It's going to appear a lot of publicities, right? Yes. And how do you feel? Do you feel happy and interested about that information? Not no. always. No, all the time. I always jump get the Yes. I always, I always skip. Okay, so imagine most of the people get mad, annoyed, irritated. So instead of being effective, too much publicity, guys, in the digital marketing can be annoyed. And <laughs> you will feel this cough about that product. And I don't know if that happens to you, but sometimes you start to hate that product instead of feel interested uh -huh. i didn't even read the advertising i just started to look for the x to exit <laughs> yeah i think that we all do that right we always skip or uh, we just closed it but it's pretty annoying so that is one of the disadvantages of digital marketing when we have too much of it is disgusting right now we're going to discuss about it digital marketing here we have some vocabulary and these ones are some examples of digital marketing i know social media is a very clear example of digital marketing but that is not the only one we have more for example we have blogs blog is an example of digital marketing we have the social media, we have tech messages, emails, um, search engine optimization, pay-per-click marketing. So those are examples for the digital marketing. So now we just need to find out what the meaning is. I have here the definitions. So everybody, a blog, what is that? According to the definitions, what is it? An online journal? An online journal, okay. Everybody, do you agree? Yes, I agree 100%. Okay. Yes. Do you remember, guys? I know that right now it is not so um, common, <laughs> but some years ago, blogs were very popular. Have you ever had a blog? Yes, of course. Ah, very <laughs> good. What was your blog about? Um, I prefer not to say it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's, that's okay. So, but during the blogs, that is another kind of digital marketing. I know that right now, baby, is not so common because we have the social media, but it was. How about the number two, social media marketing? What is that? Um, using websites website like, like Facebook. Facebook. All right. So using websites like Facebook to promote products and services. Is that effective? What do you think? Mm, maybe, yeah. but if you had an Sorry. ad blocker on your browser, that advertising never, got, never, you're never going to see it. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's true. And you guys, is social media a good digital marketing strategy? I think that is good, but it's about what it's related to the that you need. It. Exactly. Because maybe if you just like something around and looking for, I don't know, a, a refrigerator, a refrigerator mm -hmm. and, or a fridge. Um, so you start to see the advertising about the food or about the deal of the of the fridge. You maybe can get the best deal for you. Yes, and one of the advantages with the social media guys, you can get to a lot of people everywhere in the world, right? So that's a very good advantage. Now, how about text message? marketing what is that it's b 
a method where a customer gets a special offer sent to their phone. Do you agree, everybody? Yes. Have you ever received text messages, guys? I mean, text message time. marketing? From, Every day. From which companies? Um, from oh, two many companies. <laughs> claro. I receive about, Digital. exactly, the phone company about restaurants. Okay, from, okay, that's interesting. I receive from banks. Yes. For example, oh, from the banks. Yes, banks. Mm -hmm. Oh, and from food, campero, pizza hut. <laughs> yes. So imagine that's another one. That's another strategy. And do you think that this is a good strategy? Yes. Sometimes I check <laughs> the advertising <laughs> that they send me. Okay. Like discounts or something like that. <laughs> Sounds good. Sounds good. Now, then we have email marketing. What is that? Spam. No, no, no. Mail or whatever. Customer get direct commercial in, commercial mail. Very good. Do you receive this kind of messages, guys, in your emails? Yes. Yeah, too many. <laughs> <laughs> All the time. Is, is that a good strategy? Um, yes, because no. I don't like to have um, unopened uh, mails, so I have to, to read them. <laughs> okay. How about you guys? Is it a good strategy? Maybe no, because uh, we never open the email. <laughs> well, it's the pen of the people, right? In my case, I am like Lorena. I never opened them. I just deleted them. But in the case of Kevin, Kevin always open and read the messages. So I think that can work for some people, but maybe for not for everyone. But look, email, that's another digital marketing. Then we have CEO or, I'm sorry, SEO or search engine optimization. The letter E. 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 Okay, using special methods to get your website at the top of search result. Is that a good strategy? Mm, yes, because uh, when you search for something on Google, uh, if you had a correct CEO, you will always get on the first or first page of the search. So that's a really good um uh, marketing strategy, uh, strategy, strategy, strategy. I mean, I, I'm sorry, <laughs> strategy. Imagine, guys, yes, people want everything fast, right? So if they are looking for something, they go to the first option. Absolutely. So yes, that is going to give you a huge advantage. And then we have pay-per-click marketing. So what is that, everyone? Letter A. A method where a company pays a website if someone clicks on its ad. And this is a marketing very useful for influencers, right? They yes. receive money for the companies when they have the publicity. And imagine if the people uh, click on their ads, so they will receive money, All right? So... Is it clear the different strategy, the different methods that we have in the digital marketing? Yes. Yeah? Yes. Do you yes. think they are useful? Yes, I love them. Yes. Good. Excellent. Now let's analyze some uh, of these ones. Which of this type of marketing does your company use? All of them, I think. Mm -hmm. All of them? I think all of them. Really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm not pretty sure is they are still using the message marketing, but you know they are using all of them. Nice, very good. Mm -hmm. if, if send WhatsApps on the company number counts like this text message marketing, I think they'll do all of them. <laughs> <laughs> okay. How about you guys? Which of these types of marketing does your company use? No, we just use the social media. We have blogs uh -huh. and the seal. 
Okay, sounds good. Anyone else? No? All right. We're going to see other type of marketing and maybe your company used some of them, okay? Now, look at this one. I have here, guys, different sentences. These are some of the most common advantages for the direct digital marketing that is basically the ones that we are talking right now. And I wanted to rank these advantages with the number one is the most significant. That means that the advantage that you consider is the most important. And then the number four is the advantage that in your opinion uh, is the least significant. It's like, mm, it is important, but not so much, okay? For example, um, DDM is, direct digital marketing. So it says that direct digital marketing is targeted. So what does it mean? What is the meaning of this word? Any idea? And a specific oh. client. Exactly. Focus group. Mm -hmm. It's specifically, it's focused in something specific. So it says that the company sends specific communications to a group of potential customer. So do you think that that is a very significant advantage of the digital marketing or not? Hmm, you decide. The number two, volunteer for reading the second, please. DDN is seeing mediate since mobile users are almost always with arms reach of their mobile device. Your text or email message will be seen in mere seconds. Exactly. So is that a, a very important advantage? People have the cell phones all the time next to them. So people yes. will see the, the message immediately. Yes or no? Yes, yes immediately. Mm -hmm. Now, next one. Volunteer for reading the next one. I can't. DDM. Yep. Allows, DDM allows to measure uh, the success of your campaign, including the open rate of your message and then click to rate, that is, the number of people who follow your link beyond the inbox. Is that a very significant advantage, everyone? Yes. All right. It's so high significant because you need to measure the success to get yeah. your next move. <laughs> Absolutely. Very or good. To quit your, <laughs> your report. That is, yeah, that is going to give you if you continue or not. The next one, please. Volunteer for reading. Um, DM chip compared to yesterday cost of running a magazine or radio ad thanks to ever expanded internet. It is cheaper and in some cases free to get your brand's meshes out there. Thank you. So this is some of the advantages, guys. If you try to have a TV commercial or if you go to the radio or a magazine, that is very expensive. But with the digital marketing, it's pretty cheap. Actually, in some scenarios, they can even be free. So... Which of these advantages, guys, in your opinion, is the most significant? What do you think? For me, the last one, because the cost is really important for a company. In, in this case, the EDM is cheap or free. It's a good idea to use it. Mm, okay. How about you guys? Do you agree with him or do you have another idea? I agree, and I I will mark it, mark the first one as the second. Is immediate? Yes, it's tag no, it's targeted. Oh, this for you. This one is the number one. Yes, mm. no, the second one. Oh, is the second one? Okay, yeah. 
So it is important to, okay. How about you guys? Which one is going to be the number two for you? I the agree with, the a. with Amanda. Ah, okay, sounds good. I can see that you are thinking the same, guys. You are connected today. How about the number three? Which one is the third most significant advantage? The measurement. <laughs> Maybe the number okay. two is re has related uh, with the number, uh -huh. the target has, uh, is related with immediately because when you have a contact, uh -huh. you send uh, an advertisement, uh, your customer can see the advertisement and can text you immediately. All right. So Wilbur, for you, the number three is this one, right? It's immediate. Okay, Amanda, what did you say that it was the number three? It allows, allows the measure. Okay, allows the measure. So we have a tie over here. How about you guys? Yeah. For you, which one is the number three? Mm, immediate. Immediate, okay. In my case, I agree with Amanda. You can measure your success. Then oh. also, if you have a good company, you will have a good success. And immediate communication is the last one. Cool. All right. Sounds good. So if you see, we are just, in this case, guys, it is not like a correct or incorrect answer. No, this is about your own perspective. So in your opinion, everyone, which one is the number four? The least or the ones that you consider is not the most important number four? Mm -hmm. I can I can add. I think the measurement is the true one because first of all, you have a cheap way to get your CDM. Mm -hmm. uh, next of this, uh, you can get the specific communication to the, a potential group. But after that, if you have the measurement, you can decide, for example, what will be the the next campaign. And Good. in this case, you can use the text or, or any email message after to get the, the results. Mm, very good. Yeah, sounds good. Now, do you think, guys, that the digital marketing is the only option that we have? No. Or do we have another kind of marketing? Yes, always. We still have. The, the the I don't know how to say this the market. That is what we are going to learn today. <laughs> so besides <laughs> the digital marketing guys, we have the opposite. We have the offline marketing. Okay? Let's check the vocabulary. Look at the picture. We have a billboard. Hmm, that is one of the strategies of offline marketing. What do you think? What is billboard? The billboard? Number five. The... five. Yes. yes, this is a billboard. Do we have a billboard in the country? Have you ever yes. seen this? Yes. yes. Everywhere. Everywhere, right? So is that a digital strategy? No. no, it's offline marketing. You don't need it. Uh, digital, anything. But, but if it if is a screen, if it is what? Let the screen. Let the screen. It is a screen. A uh, full screen. A left screen. Oh, uh, it doesn't matter. I mean, when we are talking about guys like um digital, it's connected like related to. Um, internet. to internet basically or text messages right so people can access easily in this case if yeah i mean you can have a billboard like a digital screen but i mean you can see it only if you are in that place if you are at home you are not going to see the billboard all right that's why it's considered offline you will okay. see it only if you are in that place not if you are at home but in the digital marketing if you are at home can you receive 
the marketing ads? You can receive it everywhere because the information will arrive to you through an email, through a message, through social media, okay? But the offline marketing mm -mm, is different. Another example for offline marketing is a brochure. What is that? What is a brochure? It's like yes. Is that effective, guys? Have you ever received a brochure? Yes. Yes, but then I put them on the trash. <laughs> <laughs> Is that effective? What do you think? Not too much. <laughs> yeah, not really. People I... take it in the next corner, just <laughs> throw up. Imagine a very ex a clear example of this one is when you go to the malls. Um, if you're walking through the food court area, you will receive a lot of, of this, right? But I think that people never paid attention to it. So I think that it's not that effective. Um, a business card. What is that? The number one. Very good. Have you ever received a business card from someone or from a company? Yes. Yeah. From the from the workshop yes. in the neck in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> is that effective? What do you think? Um, yes, I call them a few times. <laughs> okay, sounds good. <laughs> How about you guys? Is that effective? Sometimes it catches your attention, but um, not always it works. Very good. Okay. Then we have a flyer. What is that? A flyer. Mm -hmm. uh, number three. Number three. Have you ever received a flyer? Yes. Um, Yes, I think. Oh, what, what is the difference <laughs> between a brochure and a flyer? The flyer, sometimes the flyer is only one page. Uh -huh. And the brochure is the one that is folded, uh -huh. folded okay. and you can open it. It is it's different parts. Mm -hmm. That is just the uh -huh. difference. But I, I always, uh, to the two, I always, I always call them a flyer. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that is the only difference, that the brochure is folded and the flyer is only one page, basically. Okay. So only, only the flyers have some kind of offers or a discount. So exactly. The have uh, more information because it's directed, for example, to medical information or maybe some information about that you need follow a cycle, for example, if you went to the university, you can get the flyer of the university because they are talking about the careers mm -hmm. and what mm -hmm. the grades. Yes, and actually, guys, as your classmate said, in the brochure, you can find more information, right? You can find email address, um, directions, very detailed information about what the product is. And in the flyers, is quick information, right? It's shorter and direct to the point, especially if they have some offers, they can put the offer over there so you can immediately see it and it's straight to the point, right? Then we have a call calling. What is that? Number call six. calling. Number, Number six. Ah, have you ever received a call calling? Yes. yes. <laughs> is that effective? <laughs> No. Mm, yes. So of, yes. Yes. <laughs> are a lucky sales representative. <laughs> they always talk in the ground time. That's true. That happens yes. to me. They call me every time in the inappropriate moment. <laughs> I don't know. I think that they say, "Hey, right now she's busy. Let's call her." I think that they have a camera. <laughs> or they are starting like, oh. Nice, nice to uh, meet you. How is your day? How is going your day? And I know. Like, I it feel was good yeah, until you call me. <laughs> I was good. What do you want? I feel bad trying to cut the call, but they speak a lot. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I was listening to Lorena. So, Lorena, what do you think? Call calling is that effective strategy? What do you think? 
I believe that uh, a lot of time is annoying. Uh, I have a problem with the banks, for example, call one, two, three, four, five, and always I uh, say no, no thanks, no thanks, but they uh, try a lot of time. Imagine, yeah, there is a point that is annoying, right? So I totally understand you. That's good. Now, some years ago, before internet, those strategies, I think that were very effective, right? But now with the digital marketing, I think that things have changed a lot. And we have the last one, word of mouth. What do you think, guys? What is the meaning of word of mouth? Any idea? There is like... Did you, did you take them to another one? one? Okay, sorry, I'm listening to two people at the same time. So first Amanda and then Kevin. Go ahead. Oh, well, there is like the Spanish word periponeo. Mm, not really, but close. Okay. So I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin, what about you? Um, it's like when you. Uh, tell the, to a friend about something mm -hmm. and that friend tells to other friend and the chains the chain continues that's it basically guys word of mouth is when people or your own customers make the publicity the mm -hmm. so for example imagine that kevin uh, bought a pizza and the pizza was very delicious and they say hey guys you know, yesterday I bought a pizza. It was total delicious. I highly recommend it. And then Lorena says, really, where? And then next day, Lorena go and buys the pizza. And she said, yes, it's very delicious. And she talked to her friends and she convinced them to go and buy the pizza. And her friends talked to another people. So it's a chain. So that is the meaning for word of mouth. Do you think that is that effective? I think yes. yes. It's a, it's a, like a, a happy client is the best advertisement. <laughs> Very good. Uh, I listened to Kevin and Fred, I guess. What do you think? Yes, it's the better option, I, I think, because the people is con, con, convinced of your products and, and agregar Add? Add more persons to buy the product. Yes, but you have to be careful, right? Because in this case, guys, word of mouth can be something positive, but also something negative. Because, I mean, Kevin really can bad, say, yeah. hey, the pizza was good. But what happens if they say the, the opposite? Hey, the pizza was bad. Don't go there. Ooh. And the it's people go on. Exactly. So it could be good, but also it can be dangerous too. Now, thinking about the offline marketing, again, the same question, guys. Um, oops, oops. Which of this type of marketing does your company use? Mm -hmm. Number four. The number four, word of mouth. Good. Okay. Which one? In my case, the number four. Number four, two, okay. And you guys, does your company use one of these treasuries? Mm, business cards. Business card, okay. Yes, a business card, a brochure, a word of amount. Sounds good, excellent. Anyone else? Number one and number two. Number one and two? Cool. In my case, in my company, or uh, hold the uh, different offline marketing. All right, sounds good. Excellent. So if you see, guys, now we have digital marketing, but also we have offline marketing. So, 
what do you think? Which one is more effective? Online, I mean, offline or digital? Digital. Digital? Uh huh. And you maybe uh, it's depending of the company because. If a, a small company only uh, local, maybe it's better uh, offline because uh, they don't need, uh, how do you say, llegar? Arrive or get? Get um, uh, um, uh, a lot of quantity of clients, maybe. That's good. So if you see, as your classmate said, depending on the type of product, depending on what kind of company and the target market, the people that you want to get, all right? If you want to get to people from 50 years old, do you think that digital marketing is going to work? Maybe they don't even have a cell phone. Maybe they don't even have access to internet. So hmm, maybe it's not so effective. But if you use one of the offline marketing, that is going to work. On the other hand, if you are trying to reach young people, oh, digital is the best option. Now, is it clear the difference, everyone, between digital and offline marketing? Yes. yes. Did you copy yes. the vocabulary? Yes? Yes. All yeah. right. It's time to speak. Now, oh my gosh, it's very late. I thought it was earlier, but if we cannot finish today, we are going to continue tomorrow. Don't worry. So in this speaking practice, we are going to work in groups. I want you guys that you are um, in the marketing department, that you work in the marketing department of your company, okay? And right now you have a new product you have to think about what the product is for example you can say okay we have a new product the product is a new pair of shoes maybe or ah we are going to sell a new kind of cell phone or it's a new product maybe something to eat i don't know you have to think about a new product any kind of product okay now you have to decide with your classmates the marketing strategies that you have to use you can use um offline i'm sorry it says offline marketing or you can use digital marketing if you are going to use offline okay tell me which one the word of mouth the billboards maybe the flyer, I don't know. Or if you are going to use digital, okay, tell me which one, social networks or emails, or are you going to combine both? Maybe you can say, we are going to use um, the social media and also the billboard, okay? So you can pick more than one, it doesn't matter. And you had to explain me, guys, the advantages of using those strategies, but also tell me which disadvantages you will have. For example, ah, social media, the advantages is that it's pretty cheap. Uh, you can reach a lot of people, but what is the disadvantages? Ah, some of the customers said that the publicity is annoying. Okay, so that is what I need. Is it clear? the activity, everyone? Yes. Yes? I'm going to send instructions. And remember, you can use different strategies. You can use offline, you can use digital, or actually you can combine both, okay? If you want to use both, okay, just explain which ones. Um, don't forget to explain what is the kind of product that you are going to sell? What is the new product? I'm sending the instructions on WhatsApp's group. Let me open up the breakup rooms. Please, again, everybody, I need to everybody participate, okay? Are you ready, everybody? Yes? 
Pretty good. Let's go to work. Hello, Osman. Hello, Osman. Salvador. Hello. Hello. Hey. Okay. Uh, the task says uh, work in groups. Yeah. Imagine you work in yeah. the market department. Marketing department. You have a new product in your company and explain what the product is. Okay. So let's like start with the product. What product uh, can we use? All right. So everybody, I just recommend you to everybody copy the information because I think that we are not going to have enough time to present it today so you can continue tomorrow so please copy the information okay, okay. so you don't okay. forget it for tomorrow <laughs> okay okay and okay, uh, my company is difficult because it's uh, transmission the electrical uh making mm -hmm. calls uh, video calls send messages and in others uh decide with the classmate the marketing strategies that you will use to advertise this product offline or digital marketing Nice. I will prefer digital marketing for that because it is easier to um to how to say it to show the product to other people uh, that use Instagram for example. So if we put our product there, all the people that use Instagram we see our cell phone in this case, right? Mm -hmm. Give me a second. All right, before continue, guys, don't forget to write in your notebooks the information. So if I ask you tomorrow, you don't forget it, okay? Please, everybody in the group, copy the product, copy the strategy that you are going to use, copy the advantages and the disadvantages, okay? Okay. Okay, Pretty good. thank you. Okay. Uh, that that, that um, social media that are it's what they are using right now. People in like the their thirties and twenties, I think they they use those networks. And yeah. hi, yeah, come on, have, Oscar. We have, yeah, we have have to hire every um influencer in the country <laughs> every girl in the country yeah. and they have to try the uh the new lipstick because uh, last 10 hours <laughs> all right before i'm sorry to interrupt you guys i just want to remind you to write the information in your notebooks write okay. the product write the strategy write the advantages and disadvantages so you don't forget it and if i ask you tomorrow you will be able to answer, okay? Everybody okay. in the group, do it, please. Okay. okay. Thank you, teacher. So, thank you. What's your proposal? Advertisement. Advertise strategy. Maybe I like to use a digital marketing. All right. Sorry to interrupt you, everyone. I just want to remind you to write it down the information. Everybody in the group, write the name of the product, 
uh, write the strategy, write the advantages and disadvantages. So if I ask you tomorrow, everybody in the group will be able to answer. Okay? Teacher, teacher. Mm -hmm. I can't pronounce a strategy. 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 Um, strategy. 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 Yes. Strategy. Um, strategy. If you have, let me try to write it. <laughs> So you can imagine the pronunciation. Let me see. How would I write that pronunciation? Tragedy. Tragedy. Uh huh. Like that? It will be like tragedy. 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 Uh -huh. It will be. Like, it will sound like this. <laughs> tragedy. Tragedy. Okay. Uh -huh. That's the one. <laughs> now you're. Tragedy. Tragedy. Mm -hmm. Okay. We had to. We had to practice. Yes. <laughs> but you are doing okay. great. Okay, right. thank you. Thank you You're welcome. So, write information, everybody, okay? Uh, 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 okay, thank you. Amanda, uh, are, you, are you are you writing? Yes, yes. We have the running shoes. But okay. everybody do it. What happens, what happens, guys, is if Amanda uh, cannot connect tomorrow, Osman and Pamela, you won't remember the information. I remember that. All teachers, all teachers. <laughs> no, <laughs> no you, you, have, you have reason. You have, you have reason. I, uh, you have to write too. <laughs> Do it, please. All right. So there it will be. Uh... All right, everybody. Sorry to interrupt oh, you. Okay. I just want to remind you guys to write down the information. Everybody in the group, okay? Write in your notebooks what the product is, what is the strategy that you are going to use. So tomorrow, if I ask you, everybody in the groups, remember it, okay? Okay. Pretty okay. good, excellent, write it please. Okay, uh, does it will be uh, on the product? Electrical yeah. car? Electrical. Bulb electric car. Yes, bulb electric. The, the strategy is go use a billboard. Like yes. In the outside of the uh, on the outside of the store, maybe. Um. Mm. Like uh, I like the billboards that picks a hat or for your compare use in restaurants. Uh, to change the product. Yeah. Oh, for buy the 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 gas. Okay. And that, and the email marketing, um, and the email marketing can you we can use it uh, for a for a target. Mm. Yes, uh, I think is very good. Okay. Okay, that's a good um strategy. So, a uh, teacher, are uh, we are uh thinking in higher hiring higher um Janira Berrios. Oh my God! Yes, as our <laughs> as our um, top or or primary uh, influencer. Yeah, we we are like going to but get viral. It? But what is a product? A lipstick. Ah, a lipstick. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, all right. Now listen. Um, uh, did you copy the information? Right? Yes. Yes. Mm, I hope so. Listen, <laughs> I will do it with, with when we sh when we finish. 
Okay. Yes, we, we have all the, the idea really clear. We have all yes. the plans really clear. <laughs> I hope so. I hope so. Okay, we don't have more time. Let's go back to the main room, okay? Okay. Thank okay. You. We're good. Thank you. You're welcome. Time's up. Time's up. Let's go back to the main room. All right, all right, everybody. Time's up. Let's wait for your classmates. All right, all right. Some of your classmates are still in the breakup rooms. Let's wait for them. No. Time's up. Okay, let's go back, everyone. So we don't have more time. I know that maybe you didn't finish, but did you copy the information? Yeah. All right. Okay, listen. Um, well, we don't have more time, unfortunately, but don't worry, okay? Tomorrow, we are going to continue working in this. I already copied uh, the groups. So tomorrow you will be working with the same group, okay? So, but copy the information. Are you sure? So you don't forget. Absolutely. I mean, I already <laughs> copied the groups. No worries. I know who we're working with. Okay, uh, we don't have more time. So we are going to continue tomorrow, but we have a winner. And the winner is Ricardo. Ricardo Ernesto, you are the winner. You have to stay. And the rest of you, you are totally free to go to sleep. Okay? So have a wonderful night, everybody. Take care and see you tomorrow. Thank you. Good night, Good night, teacher. Good night, teacher. See you tomorrow. Take care. Only Ricardo stays, please. Good night, everybody. Take care. Good night, good night. All right, hello, Ricardo. Are you there? Hi, yes, I'm here. How are you? Good, good. How was your day? Tired. A little tired, actually, because I I have to do a lot of things to do. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, yes, I imagine. And it's Wednesday, so <laughs> all right. So I don't want to take um a lot of time. This little meeting is just to clarify some questions that you may have and to provide some feedbacks about your performance. So if you have a question or a comment, this is your moment. Go ahead. Well, actually, I don't think I got any any question right now mm, uh, for now i think that the, this these classes are class, class yeah classes are very good actually i i like that i like them mm -hmm. okay that's great i'm glad you liked it yeah so um in that case if you don't have questions let's move on to the feedbacks Actually, the feedback that I have for you is pretty good because I have seen that you have been working on the platform, Ricardo. Um, look at this one. Yes. Can you see what I'm sharing? So I can see that you already finished unit one and unit two. And I can see that you already finished the midterm with a 95 score. So that's pretty good too. So that okay. is something positive. I like that. Uh, maybe right. the only observation I see that uh, in many classes you have been listener. So unfortunately, I cannot listen to you so often, right? Right. Mm -hmm. So, but I know, I know that sometimes you have a lot of things to do. This is the same with your classmates. You cannot participate all the time. So I just suggest, please try to participate as much as you can. So remember that the more that you practice, the more that you will improve. All right? Yeah. I usually get uh, put on listener because I am still working. I work from 3 p.m. to 11 o'clock, uh, p.m., sorry. So the time uh, that the class starts, I already have, I did have an, a lot of things to do. So like the first hour, I is, I'm still listener, but the second hour, I could practice a lot more. I could speak more. So. That's great. Yeah. I'm trying that. Perfect. No, and that's good. 
I know, I know. If you are working, I totally understand. I know that the schedule is difficult. So that's why every time that you can, please do it in order that you can practice, in order that you can interact also with your classmates. And of course, that you can develop your speaking skills. Okay? Okay, okay. Pretty good. That's the only observation that I have. I don't know if you have any other question or comments so far. For now, no. Excellent. Okay. So, Ricardo, keep going, please. I hope to see you connected tomorrow. Okay. Pretty good. Have a wonderful night. See you tomorrow. You too. Bye. Bye-bye.